Daisy and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Such a lot to do Building and fixing till it's good as new Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together, they get the job done Left a bit, right a bit, around a bit, down a bit, gently now. There. Good job, Lofty. There you go, Travis. No problem, Bob. Travis Tractor's my name. Moving loads is my game. All right, Travis. Now, are we all ready? Dizzy? Dizzy. Earth calling Dizzy. Dizzy, it's time to get to work. And you, Scoop? Ready when you are, Bob. All right, team. Let's hit the road. Can we dig it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Um, yeah, I think so. Where is that cat? It's not like her to be late for her breakfast. Buck, have you seen Pilchard anywhere? Uh, afraid not, Wendy. Well, uh, she won't have gone far. Not really, really far. Hey, Bird, I know cats aren't your thing, but Pilchard won't hurt you. All right, team. This is the place. Oh, oh, we're a bit close to the field where that scarecrow is. Something always goes wrong when Spud's around. What, my pal Spud? Don't worry about him, Lofty. He just likes to have fun, that's all. <laughs> yeah, come on, Lofty, big softy. <laughs> okay, okay, we got a job to do, remember? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Um, yeah, I think so. Jeez, bud. Good work, Scoop. Drop it there. Okay, Lofty, in you go. <laughs> Pilchard! Pilchard! I'll bet Pilchard's off snoozing somewhere. She won't even know how worried Wendy is. Wendy doesn't need to worry, because Pilchard will come back when Pilchard comes back. Pilchard! Pilchard! Well, that was a silly place to look, Wendy. Okay, Lofty. Just, um. Uh, put it down gently next to the hole. Whoa, no! Whoa, no, no! My, oh, my! Well, careful! Careful! Phew, that's better. Ugh. Easy, Lofty. You nearly dropped it there. Phew, time for a rest, I think. And there's another hole that needs carefully filling. The hole in my tummy. Sandwiches, yum. 
let's see. <sighs> Letters to open, phone calls to make, faxes to send. And what am I doing? I'm looking for a missing kitty. Hello, Bob's Building Yard. Oh, hello, Mrs. Hardacre. Yep. Yeah, he could come and have a look at it tomorrow. That's fine. Shall we say about three o'clock? Great. Okay, bye. Well, I give up. I just don't know where that cat is. Unless... She went with Bob. Hello? Bob? Hello? Hi, Bob. Oh, at last. I couldn't get hold of you. It's Wendy. Listen, Pilchard's disappeared. She's not with you, is she? With me? Um, no. No, no cat here, Wendy. Wake you from a nap, did I? No, it wasn't me that yawned. Perhaps Lofty had a late night, or Scoop, or Dizzy. Anyway, don't worry, Wendy. I'm sure she'll turn up when she's ready. Cats are very, uh, independent, you know? Hmm, I suppose so. But it's not like Pilcher to miss her breakfast. Anyway, I'll see you later, Bob. Okay, Wendy. See ya. <sighs> All right, you lazy bunch. Coffee break's over. Come on, Lofty. We've got a pipe to lay. Oh, oh, okay, Bob. I'm glad that scarecrow's not around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lofty. Up you go. Uh, oh, 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 easy. Oh, oh, easy. Oh, easy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you really <laughs> gave me a big scare. <laughs> what, what a laugh. Oh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. You almost caused an accident. Oh, sorry, Bob. I was only playing. I didn't mean any harm, you know. Well, say sorry to Lofty, Spud. Oh, all right, then. Sorry, Lofty. Oh, um, it's nothing I couldn't deal with. It's okay, Spud. Don't you think you ought to go and scare some birds off Farmer Pickle's lettuces? Yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Spud's on the job, Bob. <laughs> All right, Lofty. Let's try it again. Yep, it's looking good. Bob will be back any minute, and there's still no sign of Pilchard. What are we going to do? Finished. Now, let's go home. Hooray! What's wrong, Wendy? You look as if you found a dime and lost a dollar. It's Pilchard, Bob. We've lost her. Ah! Pilchard! Oh, there you are! Oh. Honestly, Bob, I thought you said you didn't know where she was. But, 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 Wendy, I didn't. She must have been hiding. Oh, well. At least she's back. Safe and sound. I've taken care of the bills, Bob. I'll put them in the mailbox on my way home. Oh, thanks, Wendy. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh. Good night, then. Good night, Wendy. Good night, Bob. Good night, Pilchard. Pickles, were you taking Scruffy for a walk? Uh, we were on our way to the bank, 
But when Scruffy saw Bob's yard, he got excited. Well, Scruffy could stay here while you go to the bank if you like. Oh, Wendy, that's very nice of you. Well, he's got his ball to play with. He'll be no trouble at all, will you, Scruffy? Thanks, Wendy. See you soon. Okay, Scruffy. Let's play ball. <laughs> Good dog, Scruffy. Pilchard, do you want to play too? All right, Pilchard. This ball is for you. Oh, Scruffy! Now look what you've done. If you'd shared your ball with Pilchard, it wouldn't be stuck on the roof. Yes, I know you're sorry. Good job, Pilchard. What a clever cat. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for looking after Scruffy. I hope he wasn't too much trouble. Not at all, Farmer Pickles. Look. What a surprise! Scruffy sharing his ball with Pilchard. <laughs> that is a first. What? What's the matter, Dizzy? Oh, <laughs> it's you, Bob. I thought that sheet of iron was walking by itself. <laughs> Ugh, I wish it would. It's heavy. What's it for, Bob? Mrs. Percival's asked us to build a bike shed while the school is closed for the spring vacation. Wow! Oh, oh, hey. Let's go. Good morning, Bob. <laughs> There, Farmer Pickles. I've uh, got a job for you, Bob. Really? What do you need? It's um, something for Scruffy here. <laughs> See, when I'm out in the fields, I can't keep an eye on this young rascal. And the next thing you know, he's off chasing rabbits and barking at sheep. <laughs> so I'd like you to build a doghouse in a fenced-in area, somewhere for him to run around when he's by himself. <laughs> And to keep him out of trouble. Scruffy, no, heel boy. Scruffy, you naughty dog. Heel boy, sit. That's better. Now go on, boy. Back in Travis's trailer. So, the sooner you can start, the better. I'll get started right away, Farmer Pickles. Oh, thanks, Bob. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. not my phone. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, uh, here it is, I think. Hello? Farmer Pickles? This isn't Farmer Pickles. <laughs> he must have lost his phone. It's Wendy here. Oh, oh my. Well, I wanted to remind Farmer Pickles about the guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? Yes. I asked him to take care of the school's guinea pigs during spring vacation. He was going to pick them up today. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Percival. Uh, I'll remind him for you. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Bye. Oh, I'd better call Bob. All ready with the cement, Dizzy. Ready, Bob. There's no answer. Oh, Bob must have forgotten to turn his cell phone on again. Scoop. Yes, Wendy. Could you go and give Farmer Pickles a message? No prob, Wendy. Remind him the guinea pigs are arriving today. Okay, Wendy. Oh, and Scoop. Yeah. Could you give him his phone too? And tell Bob to turn his on. See you later. Thanks, Scoop. All right, you two. It's time to get going. 
Farmer Pickles, guinea pigs, give him his phone, turn Bob's phone on. Uh, Farmer Pickles, guinea pigs. Phew! I'm getting thirsty. Time for a cup of coffee. And a sandwich. Bob, is there anything else you want me to do? Uh-oh, what was that? Uh, it was my sandwiches. No, Bob. Sandwiches would make a squishier sound. That was more like a... Like a lunchbox? Yeah, that's it. More like a lunchbox. Oh, sorry, Bob. Oh, don't worry, Rolly. Accidents can happen. A cheese sandwich, too. A very thin cheese sandwich. Oh, well. Guinea pigs, give him his phone. Turn Bob's phone on. Farmer Pickles, guinea pigs, give him his phone. Turn Bob's phone on. Hello, Scoop. Sorry, Spud. Can't stop. On an important job. Oh, what's that? Message for Farmer Pickles and his cell phone. Hold on a minute. What? Maybe you could give him the phone and pass on the message. Spud's on the job, Scoop. Thanks, Spud. Here. Oh, a cell phone. Oh, nearly forgot. The message. Hmm? Remind Farmer Pickles that the guinea pigs are arriving today. And tell Bob to turn his cell phone on. Got that? Yeah. Oh, I wonder who I could call. That's it, Lofty. Hold it steady now. Hi, everybody. I passed along the messages, Wendy, and the phone. Thanks, Scoop. Yes, yes, Mr. Mayor, that's right. I'm in charge of the town now. You can call me Mayor Spud. My first job... Spud? Ah, what? Uh, oh, uh, uh, hello, Travis. Is that Farmer Pickle's cell phone? What? Oh, where did that come from? He's been looking for it everywhere. How did you get it? Um... Scoop gave it to me. Farmer Pickles left it at Bob's yard. Well, maybe you better let me take it to him. Can you give him the message, too? Message? What message? Um, uh, oh, let's see. Uh, there's a load of mini pigs arriving today. Mini pigs? What's that? Uh, I guess they're like ordinary pigs, only a little smaller. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, Spud, if you say so. Oh, oh, thanks, Bob. Scruffy's new home looks really good. Well, Scruffy, what do you say? <laughs> I think he likes it. Farmer Pickles, Farmer Pickles, I found your cell phone. Oh, good. Well done, Travis. And I've got a message, too. The little pigs will be arriving later today. Pigs? What pigs? Well, that's the message. They're arriving today. Oh, funny. I don't remember ordering any pigs. Where am I going to put them? You could put them in here until I can build a pigsty for you. <laughs> I don't think Scruffy likes that idea. Oh, you've done a terrific job, Wendy. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Percival. Come on, team. Let's go up to Farmer Pickle's place and see how the others are doing. Oh, Wendy, could you take the guinea pigs over, too? Yes, of course we could. Come on, Scruffy! I don't think he wants to share his new home with a bunch of pigs. Maybe he'll come out for a flat sandwich. Here, Scruffy! Scruffy! Yes, I guess you're right. It doesn't look very tasty. Hi, Bob. Uh, oh, what's going on? Well, I finished the dog yard, but Farmer Pickles needs it for some pigs that are arriving today, and Scruffy <laughs> won't get out, and... Not pigs, Bob. Guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I told Mrs. Percival I'd take care of them. So why did I think I was getting real pigs? Well, that's what Spud told me. Spud? I should have known he wasn't listening when I gave him that message. And I mean, nobody told you to turn your cell phone on, did they, Bob? Oh, whoops. Forgot again. <laughs> oh, my. Well, they seem to have adopted Scruffy. And I think he likes them, too. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, Scruffy. 
Rusty. It was me. Oink, 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 oink. Job that doesn't need me. <laughs> What's the matter, Rolly? I wish I was out with the others. I guess I'm not that important. Of course you are. It's just that, well, everyone has different talents. Why don't you and Bird make up a song? You could sing it to the others when they get back. Yeah, a special team song. Ah, uh, good old Scoop. Uh, what rhymes with scoop, Bird? Troop, of course! Good old Scoop, he's the leader of the troop. Now then, next line. Uh, let's think. <laughs> yeah, that's right! We're the best of friends! Good old Scoop, he's the leader of the troop. We're all the best of friends! Mixing up some ant. If you want some digging done, mix the number one. Rolly likes to rock and roll. Bob and his machines are a very special team. They're always on the ball. It's a great song, Rolly. I couldn't have done it without Bird. Well, we're really lucky to have you on the team. Bob, Bob and, and his, his machines are a very special team. team. They're always, always on the ball. <laughs> You're a slippery customer. Good morning, Wendy. Morning, everyone. Hi, Hi Wendy. Morning, Wendy. Morning, Wendy. Where's Bob? He's in the house, Wendy. Talking to someone. Yo. Come on. Oh, where are you going? Wow. Wow. Uh, oh. Bob, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, good morning, Wendy. I thought it was about time I cleaned out Finn's tank. But he's not helping. Are you, Finn? <laughs> Whoa. No, I can see that. Oh, no. Look at the time. You get going, Bob. I'll take care of Finn. See you later. Thanks, Wendy. Well, Pilcher, I've got to take care of a few things in the office. Then we'll clean out Finn's tank. <laughs> okay, come on, everyone. We've got lots of jobs to do. Yay! Mark, I'll need you to help me and Dizzy and Rolly. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, shall I start mixing, Bob? Yes, Dizzy. You do that. Oh, no! I forgot the cement! Muck, would you go back to the yard and get a couple of bags for me, please? On my way, Bob! And hurry, we've got lots more to do today. To me, to me. to hard to fix. Now we'll have to dig this out and we'll need to set a new support in cement. Cement! That's what I came for! Great. 
Great job, Rolly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's flatter than a pancake. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Next job, the old garage. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hi, Wendy. Yes, of course you can. Bye-bye. Dizzy, could you go back and help Wendy? She needs to have some cement mixed. Goodie! Oh, and tell Scoop I need him to help at the garage. Okay, Bob. I wonder what Wendy wants cement for. Lofty, your turn to do some work. Oh, is it? I just want you to pull the old support out of the ground. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I can do that. I can lift it. Uh, uh, I can lift it. Good job, Lofty. Right. While we're waiting for Dizzy, I think I'll make some iced tea. Hi, Wendy! Yeah. I'm home! Oh, my! What happened? Oh, just a little accident. But now that you're here, Dizzy, you can help us. We need some cement in this hole to hold the new support. Oh, goody! I've got lots left. Ha, oh, yeah, Wendy, Bob wants Scoop to help him at the old garage. All right. Lofty, can you take over from Scoop? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. See you later. This is hard work. Great. You can help me now, Scoop. No prob, Bob. Wow. Look at that. That must be really old. Hmm. I know. There. Now we just need to screw the roof back down to the new support and wait for the cement to set. Hello? It's me. Oh, hello, Bob. Yes. All right. Yes, of course I will. I'll send Lofty. Lofty, could you take this to Bob at the old garage? Uh, yeah. I think so. What's it for? Bob's found the top of a very old gasoline pump. He wants a box to put it in to keep it safe. Okay. I think I can do that. Hiya, Lofty. Hi, Bob. Oh, thanks. This will do just great. Come on, you two. It's time to go home. Oh, I hope Wendy's fixed the carport. Don't worry. Hello. Hello, everyone. A great what? Mark, what's going on? Oh, I had a little accident, Bob. It wasn't her fault, Bob. You see, Bird was being a soccer referee and Mark... I skidded to Miss Bird and smashed into the carport. Sorry, Bob. There's no need to be sorry. You didn't do it on purpose. And Bird's fine. <laughs> and Wendy, our excellent builder, has fixed it. See? Good as new. Better even. Oh, Pilchard, Bird, I totally forgot poor Finn. Oh, what a clever cat. And what a clever bird. With all the excitement with the accident and everything, I forgot I was cleaning out the fish tank. But Pilchard and Bird have just reminded me. There you 
you go, Finn. Now your tank's nice and clean. Thanks to Wendy. Richard, you've been such a clever cat. You deserve a special treat, don't you? Would you like some fresh fish? Pilcher? Here, Bob. You're working with Scoop, Muck, and Dizzy today over at Mr. Beasley's. Have the bricks I ordered arrived? They've been delivered already. Red bricks for the wall and gray bricks for the walkway. Great! What are you going to be doing today, Wendy? I've got to deal with this paperwork. Huh, sounds like a busy day for all of us. See you later, Wendy. Oh, Hilchard, you can't sleep there. Come on. Okay, time to start sorting. I'll put the jobs to be done here and the jobs we have done there. The office is going to look so tidy by the time Bob gets back. All right, team. Here are the bricks. Oh, no! What's the matter, Bob? I asked for the red and the gray bricks to be put in separate piles. They're all mixed up. I know, Muck. Uh, we'll just have to sort them ourselves. Red over there for the wall, and gray over there for the walkway. Let's get sorting, team! Well, team, that's the last one. Have we fixed it? Yes, we have! Come on, time to get back to the yard and see how Wendy's doing. Goodness, that's all done. Hello, Wendy. How's the sorting going? Whoa. Oh, Pilcher, be careful. Oh, no. Muck, we're ready for the last load of gravel. Okay, where do you want it? Over here, Muck, please. Okay, Rolly. Come on, bird. Let's rock and roll. Left to the left. Two, three, four to the right. Six, seven, eight. Stretch. Oh, oh, stop, Rolly, stop. What is it, Dizzy? Look. There's a stone uh, with a head, and it's moving. Oh, oh, look, Bob, a tortoise. How on earth did you get here? It's a good thing you spotted him, Dizzy. He could have had a very bad accident. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, tortoise. I'm sorry if I scared you. Aw, you're a little like me, aren't you? Slow, but you get there in the end. Oh, what are you going to do with the tortoise, Bob? I don't know, Dizzy. But he can't stay here while we're building this bus stop. He might get hurt. Well, why don't you take him back to the yard? Muck can go and pick up the shelter, and you can send Lofty out to me. Good idea, Wendy. Can I take Timmy, Bob? Timmy? Timmy Tortoise. That's his name. <laughs> yes, of course you can, Rolly. There you are, Timmy. You'll be safe in there while I build you a tortoise hutch. Ready, Lofty? I've got the shelter. You can carry the bus stop sign. Oh, okay. Thanks, much. Uh, 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 wait for me. Okay, we've got to find Timmy's owner. Can't we keep him? No, we can't, Dizzy. Tortoises are extremely rare, you know. Timmy must be very precious to somebody. His owner will be looking for him everywhere. You're right, Scoop. I want you two to go and see if any of our neighbors has lost a tortoise. No prob, Bob. Can we find them? Yes, we can. And I'd better get on with this tortoise hutch so that Timmy doesn't run away again. Timmy can't run. He's a slow mover, just like me. Up 
Yes, Dizzy. I've lost my tortoise. What does he look like? Well, it's round, with four legs and a head. <laughs> We've just found your tortoise. Oh, thank goodness! Is he all right? Yes. <laughs> Come and see. Hello, Scoop. Did you find Timmy's owner? No. I asked everybody I met, but nobody's lost the tortoise. Oh no! Oh, I, I gotta keep an eye on Timmy. I don't want him running away again. Baby. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, come on, Rolly. Keep your eyes open. Oh. <laughs> Farmer Pickles, that's a nice load of lettuces you've got there. All freshly picked this morning. We're on our way to the market. Be careful, bird. Mmm, they smell so fresh. Do you think I could have one for the tortoise we've just found? Oh, who does he belong to? We don't know. But we're trying to find out. Well, help yourself to some lettuce. Thanks, Farmer Pickles. If I hear of anyone who's lost a tortoise, I'll let you know. Bye, Bob. Bye. Beep, 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 beep. Timmy, where are you? Oh, oh, oh! Timmy's gone, Rolly. Oh, gone? Where? Here we are, Mrs. Potts. Your Thomas. Huh? Where's my Tommy? Where's my Timmy? He's called Tommy, Rolly. Tommy! Oh, oh, Tommy! I gotta keep very still. I can't roll over Timmy or Tommy. Can you see him, Bird? <laughs> Timmy, Bob, what's going on? Oh, Wendy, we've lost the tortoise. What? We've looked everywhere. Well, if he's not here in the yard,、hmm. he must be out on the road. Oh no, on the road. Oh, oh don't worry, Mrs. Potts. He's sure to turn up. <coughs> um, have you lost something? <gasps> Tommy, Timmy. I found him fast asleep at the bottom of my trailer. I think he's full from all the lettuce. <laughs> This new hut should keep Timmy, uh, Tommy, safely off the roads. I thought he looked like a Timmy, but now I think he's more of a Tommy. <laughs> you can call him whatever you like, Rolly. <laughs> I'm just glad to have him back. You know, I've had Tommy since I was a little girl. Really? I never knew tortoises lived that long. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> what I meant to say was. I... <laughs> well, they can live to be fifty or sixty years old. You know. I'll miss you, Tommy. 
Oh, you can come and visit Tommy anytime you want, Rolly. Really? Really. Oh, yeah! Huh. It's been a busy day. Yeah, we built a great bus stop, didn't we, Lofty? Oh, yeah, I think so. I found a tortoise. And I found its owner. Aw, I'll miss that little fella. But I'm glad he's home with Mrs. Potts. That's where he belongs. Aw, don't worry, bird. You're still my best friend. Night-night. <laughs> okay, team. We're going to build a new rock garden in the park today. I like rock gardens. Rock and roll! How many rocks are there, Rolly? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bucks. That's right. So, I need to make seven holes. Come on, Scoop. I'll make the holes and you can put the rocks in. No problem, Bob. Hold on a minute. He said there were seven rocks. There were. I counted them. But we've put in seven rocks already, so we shouldn't have any left. And there's one there. You're right, Scoop. Sorry, Bob. I must have made a mistake when I counted. Oh. Hello? Bob the Builder? Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. I see. Tommy the tortoise is missing. Oh, my. I know there were only seven rocks. <gasps> it's gone! <laughs> Hello, Tommy. Tommy! It's all right, Mrs. Potts. He's here, safe and sound. We'll bring him back on our way home. <laughs> Bob, he's eating your lunch. <laughs> oh, no. Tommy! Tommy!